In this video, we will take a look at 11 plus for independent schools, non-verbal reasoning test questions. So within the video, we will provide you with some information about the 11 plus non-verbal reasoning exam and also give you a number of sample questions to try. So what you need to know about the non-verbal reasoning exam for the 11 plus. There is no national curriculum for non-verbal reasoning. There is not one correct method to use to answer these questions. Instead of showing an understanding of learned concepts, you must show proficiency in lateral thinking. Patterns to be aware of. Now, many questions will be based on the following relationships. Colours, size, quantities, number of edges, reflections, rotations and movement. And the purpose of the questions Non-verbal reasoning tests your ability to identify and apply logical rules to shapes and patterns. Now these questions utilise visual analysis skills rather than an understanding of words and language. In the non-verbal reasoning paper for 11 plus you can expect questions on the following areas. Odd one out, folding nets, transformations, complete the grid, complete the sequence, codes, rotations and also reflections including similar shapes. So let's take a look at a non-verbal 11 plus reasoning test question. Sample question one, which of the following is the odd one out? So we are presented with five different shapes A, B, C, D and E and we have to decide which one is the odd one out. Now upon close inspection we can see that A, B, C and E all have five sides, whereas D, this is the only shape with six sides, so therefore being the odd one out. Sample question two, which two shapes are rotations of each other? So we're presented with A, B, C, D and E, and we have to decide which two shapes are rotations of each other. So they're basically the same shape with the colors in the same areas within the square, but they're just rotated. And the answer is B and D. Sample question three. Which answer option completes the sequence? So we are presented across the top with a series of squares with arrows in there and also black dots and numbers in different areas. And we have to choose from A, B, C, D or E which one completes the sequence. And the answer is B. And the reason for that is the arrow each time rotates 45 degrees clockwise, so therefore it will need to point at the bottom. The black dot moves anti-clockwise around each corner, and the number doubles and moves anti-clockwise around each corner each time. So the correct answer there is B. Sample question four. Which is the missing code? So we're presented with a number of shapes, and at the bottom there is a code, and we have to decide which code goes here based on the information that we have been provided with. And the answer is D, H. Now the first letter represents whether the triangle is equilateral or right angled. The second letter represents how many points the star has. And the colours have no bearing on the code in this question. So to get more sample 11 plus test non-verbal reasoning questions, please go to independent11plus.co.uk.